Now I also have question 3 which is saying two boxes are connected by a lightweight which is massless cord and are resting on a smooth which is frictionless table. The masses are MA to be 10 kg, MB to be 12 kg. A horizontal force which is FP to be equal to 40 newtons is applied to MA. Calculate part A the acceleration, part B the tension. So the tension they're talking about the um, the tension of this slope. Now, this is what we call, um, we are talking about the tension force, or, in, or is, is this, this topic is under tension force, the one we are solving right now. So what is happening here is, um, you, we need first to identify what is making the whole system to move. Okay? So the only force that is making the system to move, it is basically the applied force, which is FP. Only meaning that the summation of all the forces in x direction the force that is making the system to move it is fp since the object is moving and we have got two objects m1 and m2 i need to add the masses so it has to be m a plus mb then times the acceleration being equal to fp is 40 divide both sides by m a plus mb even here by MA plus MB. These will cancel. Acceleration will be equal to 40. Divided by MA is 12. That one is 10. So, we have 40 divided by 22. Acceleration will be equal to I will say 40 divided by 22. That is 1.82. That is my acceleration. So, you know, this is basically the simple, simplest thing whereby we have not been given the, the, um, the friction force. So, that's why we are just doing it direct. But there are some questions where I was solving the same concept, but there is, tension, there is friction force. You can check them out. I explained everything what you're supposed to do when there's friction force with and without friction force. So you can just go on our website. There's a video under tension force where I explained everything on this topic with or without friction. Because sometimes they can give you a question which involves friction and it's going to be a bit different with the concept which I've used here. The next question they're asking us to find the tension. Now tension, I'm going to use two methods. I'm going to use, but I'm going to have the same answer. If I want, I can only use MB. Okay? So, if I only to, if I'm only happen to get just MB, which is 12 kgs, the only force which is applying now, it is the tension force. Therefore, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say the summation of the forces in x direction, we only have the tension force. So the, the net force will be replaced by m b times acceleration to be equal to the tension force. So m b is 12. Acceleration is 1.82 being equal to the tension force. So 12 times 1.82 is going to be 21. So the tension is 21.84. Now, one thing I want you to know is that even if I've used this method, even if I used, I've used MB, I can also use MA and I'll be able to get the same answer. Let's see. Now, if I use MA, the applied force is that one, but there's another force which is opposing motion in this case, that is tension force. So tension force in that case is going to be acting there. So the summation of forces in X direction, I've got FP which is applying minus T. So this will be replaced by MA times Z times acceleration, which is then FP is 40 minus the tension force. I will shift the tension force to come here, MA to come there. Let's plug in the values we see. 40 minus my, A, my uh, mass is 10, my acceleration is 1.82. So let's see. 
tension force will be 40 minus I'll have 10 times 1.82 18.2 so if I do 40 minus 18.2 I should be able to get the same answer which is 21.8 so you choose which one to use have you seen here I've gotten 21.8 here to 21.84 if you land it off that one is going to be 21.8 as well so that is it for this question okay